Well, good morning, Mission Control. It's been a uh, long week for me. You're seeing videos that were taking place uh, last weekend that were broken into multiple pieces, but the whole week has gone by. I have not been able to get out here and do any work. Uh, my day job is just really consuming me uh, right now, so things are ramping up there as I try to get this stuff all done. So I haven't been able to get out here at night and try to get ahead of things. So that makes today, uh, which is Saturday, a, a really big deal. we got to get a lot of stuff done. I'm hoping to be able to take tomorrow off, off from both my jobs. Uh, but this insulation has really got to get done. It's getting, um, it's not getting, it has been consistently cold. Uh, we're getting quite a bit of snow. Uh, it's raining out right now, uh, but uh, it's still about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It was at like five degrees Celsius. Um, so we got to get this done. Today, we got to put the uh, inlets for the exhaust fan. They've got to go up in place. One will go right over here. Another one will go right over there. These are four foot by four foot. We're going to use the same installation methodology that we did for the fan itself, only instead of being 300 pounds, these things weigh like 25. So should be a lot uh, friendlier install. Uh, we'll have to get them up, create the cross members. This one will have to do a vertical cross member because these aren't as rigid as the fan is. Uh, and then uh, cut the outside, bolt it to the uh, exhaust port, and that will be in. Do that twice, and then we'll be on to insulation. Insulation on the west side here is going to, well, should be, cross my fingers, should be easier uh, because we don't have to cut out so much stuff. We don't have the fan, we don't have the sink, we don't have the heater. So these should be more of a direct install, get them up, get them bolted into place, put the straps on, uh, and hopefully that'll work out a lot better. And I kind of know what I'm doing now, at least some of the stuff, but I would say I don't have it figured out exactly. Uh, if, by chance, some amazing will of God that I have uh, God speed with me today, I can get that all done, then I'll actually start on putting uh, cross bands in on the ceiling on the north side. Um, so that we can uh, put insulation up. So you got to put bands in and then pull the insulation up behind it. Um, so I might get to that today. We'll see. So I uh, better get going here and uh, get this day started. Okay. Oh, I've been wanting to show you guys all the insulation. Here it is in the barn. It's blocking everything. Uh, kind of hard to see in the dark, but the hay is down quite a bit. Normally it comes all the way out. And... Uh, I need to get it restocked before the real snow starts to show up. Uh, so I got to get all this insulation out of here. And I don't, I'm being lazy. I don't want to move it twice. And I don't have enough room really out in the building to go throw all this. So, oh, and the chickens, chickens are inside now. Move them in. Uh, so I got to get this stuff all out of here so I can get the hay trailer in and fill the loft back up before snow gets there. So kind of in a rush and behind where I need to be. Let's see here. So now we're going to make, uh, make these bars. So, get that out of the way. Okay. Oh, I have my any dandy instructions here. I need to make a 75 incher. 75. 75. Right there. Gonna get loud. Oh, 
go. Got the bend started. Okay, so then come down here, right there. So we got the straight side. I think I do it like this. There we go. Okay, here's one, let's check it. Yep, right on the button. Here, and that would be easier to do. I need bolts, lots of bolts. Those look like nice bolts. Ooh, don't you have nice bolts? They're pretty bolts. Pretty bolts. Okay, those should all be able to go through there, no problem. Goes through the big one. Uh, I need some washers. And these ones they have to go through too. They are barely enough to go through too. So these will work everywhere. This is my hardware store. I do love my hardware store. Oop, there's one. And there's one. And there's one. And there's one. And there's one. Du, 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 du. Got to love the hardware store. Use those other bars too. Okay. Shoe. Shoe back there. This I might use to lift up the insulation. Well, it's a little, a little nasty out today. 
very foggy. It's nice walking on this road though. That's a nice change. Last year this was all mud and you'd have to walk out in the field to get to it. Couldn't drive out here easily. I guess you could drive out here, but it was mud all the way and the horses couldn't be in the sacrifice area. They had to be pinned up in a smaller area. So we've made some pretty good progress this year, I would say. I just got the first cross member in. It's the same thing I did on the previous video when I installed the fan. Uh, today I'm going to try something a little different when raising these things. First, this is way lighter uh, than 300 pounds that's on the fan on the other side. I'm going to use a little pulley and hook. I'm going to hook it up top, use some cord, and uh, I'm going to lift this thing into place, tie it off, and that will give me the ability to move it around. So I'm going to see how this works today. I think this will also work for insulation. I can hook it and then pull insulation up uh, using this system. So we're going to find out. That looks like that might work, huh? 